18,000 women from around the world gathered last week in Orlando, Florida to talk about technology issues and how women can play a bigger role in shaping the industry's future. The Grace Hopper celebration of women in computing is the largest meeting of women in technology worldwide. We have two reports. First, here is VOA's Michelle Quinn. Here in Orlando, Florida, where tourists usually come for the palm trees, shopping, and theme parks, 18,000 women recently converged on the city's giant convention center to talk about technology. With women making up nearly 23% of the U.S. tech industry's workforce, it's time for women to play a bigger role in the industry, said Melinda Gates. Well, <laughs> It's time the world starts recognizing that the next Bill Gates might not look anything like the last one, and that not every great idea comes wrapped in a hoodie. This isn't your typical technology conference. There's childcare provided, and some of the career booths women are ready to vamp it up while promoting a new cloud and human service. It was but a chance yes, to so talk about right artificial now, intelligence and funding Whoa, for tech companies, as well as changing the industry, like the bringing more cars. women into technology um, and seeing women like advance. I mean, it's been a really amazing experience. For me, it's been wonderful to hear women that are successful in different fields sharing with me about their path, their journey, how they got to where they were, how they were able to seek out mentors, seek out sponsors within, uh, within their companies, and be able to get valuable feedback to help them in their careers. Silicon Valley and the Tech and Voice of America held a town hall at the conference. On the program, women talked about the progress that has been made and how far there is to go. Simply because they're women. And I spend a lot of time talking to managers about conscious actions they can take. Here's a very simple one. When you have an open role, post it instead of tapping those people on the shoulder that you naturally know and are part of your network. Being CIO at Intel and being at the middle of the ecosystem in Silicon Valley and, and working across many industries, um, it's exciting. And I personally want women to be more represented in that. Deborah Bear Bichet, a physicist who grew up in Mexico City, said her parents didn't support her interest in science, but she pursued it anyway. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you cannot achieve your dreams. Keep that with you. You're the only one that can make your future. Nobody else will do it for you. So seek mentors. Do whatever you have to do. Study like crazy. Be very entrepreneurial and craft your path because you will be the only one that will get the fruits of your own labor. Attendees say that being among so many other women in the tech industry, they felt supported, whether it was to pursue a technical career or to change their organizations. I'm just encouraged to continue to work hard in my field, uh, to be known for something, do, put in my best, to be a good role model to others, mentor other people coming after me. And I want to be you in the future, so. <laughs> it's clear that there is no shortage of inspiration that will last long after the conference has ended. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Orlando, Florida.